Welcome back to three random horror games. I'm gonna keep the intro short because I know you just do not want to hear me yap at all. So we're just gonna start playing the first game. This one's called The Hallways. New game, let's get it. How did I end up here? I don't know. The last thing I remember, I was at the carnival. The lights and laughter swirling around me. Well. Then in an instant, everything- I couldn't even read that! What the fuck? Okay, so right off the bat, we're in a hallway, as the game uh, s uh, suggested in the title. It's a mid-painting, I'm not gonna lie, I could do better. But let's just try and interact with stuff. Oh, we can't open the door. Already amazing. Um, what? How do we, like, you know, move around? Like, how do we open the doors? Oh, is there, like, any controls? Nope. By the way, this game has, like, a gigabyte. Which probably makes sense, because I really like the graphics. Was that me? I don't know. What the fuck is going on in there? It's like, is that like an eyeball? What is that? I can't even tell. So this... Is it the bathroom? Oh, this is the grimiest bathroom I've ever... Okay! Yo, are we like... Dude, look at our jawline! Damn! Alright, so... We're definitely picking up some bitches... In our lifetime. What is this? You can right-click while using the flashlight. Yo, this is sick! So wait, how do I use this? It's a book. And a beer bottle. What if I... By the way, I never even knew we had a flashlight. What if I... What if I use it on myself, huh? Any, uh, jizz stains on our shirt? No? Okay. Thought there would be something pretty bad on our, uh, sh You know, clothes. Okay! What the... F oh, yeah. You have to... Oh, it made a made a nice, perfect shape. He was like accurate with it, bro. Oh, this is the same place we just started. This is giving me massive PT vibes already. I'm liking this. I love PT type games. They are scary as shit, though. I'll give them that. They are, PT games are. Horrifying. Can't open this door still. Anything in the fire? No babies in the fire? Okay, cool. Yeah, what she said. Hello? Knock, knock. Alright, I guess we can't go in there. Great. I'm just gonna go this way. Did it open? Oh, it did. Did you look at that? Oh, it's bloody! Hello? Can I, like, take up peep? Alright, I guess not. Well, then, we'll leave you to it. Anything? Wait, what? Oh, this is, like, outside of the map? Okay. So we're seeing, like, some behind the scenes out the windows. Still don't know what's in there. It's just... Alright, back in the bathroom. Anybody there? No. No one in the bathroom. Still that stupid-ass book. Anything in the toilet? No. Oh. A dress? A dress in the toilet. I meant bathtub, sorry. Is there gonna be another... Is there gonna be, like, a hand now? Hello? No one in there. Awesome. So we're going back yet again. Through the hallway. Same one. Um. Oh. It is so loud, bro! 
Holy shit! It's louder than me! Anything in the fire? Nope. Bro, my ears are dead after that. I'm not gonna lie. It is more... It's louder than it is scary. Like, obnoxiously loud. We, we still can't go in this room. Which, I'm assuming... I thought I heard extra footsteps. Which I'm a... Bro. Like, if you take my light away, I'm not gonna be able to go and progress, bro. That's just how it is. What? What is this? Can I go in this room yet, bro? What's even in there? Is that like a bed? Dude, I can't see anything. Alright, so someone took a massive turd on the walls. Not good. We're sanitary. We can still see ourselves in the mirror, right? Yep, we can. We're looking amazing. The uh, item is gone. Does this work still? Let me take a shit in it. I guess it doesn't work. No more bathroom privileges. Um, okay. I guess we're just gonna... Yeah, someone just smeared a bunch of shit on the wall. And I don't like that. Um, still nothing from this window yet which is bound to like kill me probably and oh my god this is like the gr this is grimy huh oh my god jesus my fucker is so loud for no reason damn all right, can we go in the bloody room yet? Is there anything in the fire? Nope, nothing in the fire. Why does it look like a butthole? I just realized. Um, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Can we go in this bloody room yet? Is there gonna be someone in here? No. Well, all we can do is just keep going. Huh? Is this how much time I got? Uh oh. I'm fucked. Oh, I can go around it. So this clock is like following me. Oh, maybe I have to put something on top of those. So maybe. I have to find stuff. That makes sense now. But what the fuck do I find on there? And what is this clock supposed to mean? Like, when it hits a certain time, what does it mean? Like. It's just going. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Sorry. For what? You wanna choke the shit out of me? Is that what? You wanna kick my ass? Like, what's gonna happen? Take one of these fucking pokey stick things. Go fight off the fucking person trying to kill my ass. Can I open this? No, I can't. So what's the point of it being there? Can I open this? No, I can't. What am I doing? Maybe I have to do something with the clock? It's just going. What am I doing, bro? Am I still here? Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, I'm like... I'm like going insane. Look, I'm like all, all dark now. Am I like slowly become a ghost or something? Interesting. Sorry. Yeah, you said that about four times now. I think this way thank you as if I didn't know this is like the only way to go is there another this way arrow maybe you could show me what I need to do because I've been spamming this light for like 10 minutes now do I still which way do I go now huh is it this way <gasps> oh my fault I'm sorry I didn't mean it um, I hope you have a very nice night. Is that what they meant by sorry? Sorry for jump scaring your ass out of nowhere. Well, thank you for the, you know, early apology. For making my sh making me shit myself. Where am I supposed to, am I supposed to go in here? So it's like highlighting white. No, that's my flashlight. Where there's like some light coming through. What am I doing? 
Oh my god. There is actually no way. Bro, I, I reset my game to see if I missed anything. Because, like, I thought the game was bugged. Because I scanned literally everywhere. That didn't happen before. I never saw that key before. Now that's open. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> like, why is it always me, bro? Why is it always me? Why is it always me? You know, my games always be bugging too much. So let's enter this room now. Uh, a lot of, um, PNGs of, okay. A lot of PNGs of, uh, spookygirl.jpg on the wall. Who is this? Is this me? What the fuck? Is going on here? Okay, so we're... Why is he like... Why was he split open? Who is here? Probably the motherfucker on the walls! That's who we saw earlier! Oh. Right. Yeah, probably the motherfucker we saw on the walls is here. Big hint. What if we're like the ghost of that thing that was like on the cross or whatever? Or like that guy who got absolutely smacked apart into like four pieces. Maybe, maybe that, that's us. And we're looking into our future. I don't know. Who really knows what's going on? But we're going down this hallway. I'm expecting a jump scare. Yep, I see you, bitch. I see you. You don't have to like... Be a little shy person. I've seen you like four times. Uh, okay. You you thought that was funny, huh? Yeah, that's why you look like these. What even are these? Are these pig carcasses? Jesus Christ. Oh, we oh we can move them. That's reassuring. Let's go. Physics. Phys like physics like that. Show me hope in a game. And it's locked. Amazing. Any keys around here? Oh, there's a lever. Did we really need that? <gasps> Alright. Do what you want. But anything else, I'm not here for it. Oh, wow. A large glowing light. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's calling to me. Oh, no! End of the demo. Okay, that wasn't bad. I really like... I actually kind of like that game. It just... I don't know. I just thought, like, it was a bit tedious looking for objectives. Maybe it should have just, like, said, Oh, grab the key right here. But, um... Yeah, that was pretty cool. I like the little element of, like, you have to scan around with the spectral light to see what you should do. And, um, yeah, that was the hallways, and now we're on to our next game. This next game is called Lamp Post. Uh, it's an SCP-related horror game, and it is loud in my ear. But, um, yeah, this, I actually was looking at this game for a while now. It looked pretty interesting, because I really do like 8-bit type horror games. And, uh, spoiler alert, the next one is like an 8-bit type horror game too. So, um, yeah, let's just get into it. And let's see what this game has to offer us. Oh, and it got cinematic cutscenes as well. Well, it's not really 8-bit, it's more of a PS1 type. Recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of the Thornwood Forest. Authorities contacted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. A random lamppost, SCP, blah 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 blah, is currently under supervision of Team Alpha. They are heading towards the location in order to conduct a research and give further answers to this unknown anomaly. Based on its rumors, the lamppost uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes into contact with it. So basically, don't touch the bitch. Got it. Oh. Oh, so we were just told not to touch it, and now we're observing it with hazmat suits. I don't know if this is a good idea. Our intel suggests that this is a Keter class SCP, which means that it is difficult to contain. 
We should be very careful while observing this object. Like here, okay. SCP hashtag, 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 doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but is somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. You can clearly see that we are surrounded by forest, yet the objects in this area appeared from unknown locations. We must contain those objects. Here, this is an analog multimeter. It is used to measure electrical quantities like frequency, signals, etc. Use it to find those objects affected by a lamppost and collect them. I will be checking for other anomalies as well. Dr. Cooper will observe us just in case anything happens, and Dr. Thorne will provide us with medical help if we need any. Okay, they're probably gonna die. Collect at least five samples, report to Dr. Cooper, and afterwards we can discuss this discoveries together. I just had like a brain rot moment right there. Stay vigilant, avoid interactions with the lamppost, and good luck. Alright. So we're, so Sprint, we got the weakest Sprint of all time. Collect five objects. So how do we use, how do we use our thing? Why is there a gas can? Oh. That was one of them. Okay. So it's when it goes off like crazy, that's when we pick it up. Okay, that's good. That's okay. Like, some of these look super out of, like, place. Like, you think that, you know, why is a book in the middle of the forest, huh? Then, I guess not. Oh, okay. So it's just, like, everyday objects we're trying to find? I'm the trash? Oh, there's shit hidden in the bushes! Oh, that's cheeky as hell. Alright. So there's shit in the bushes! Now we gotta check the bushes, bruh. Just don't touch the lamppost. What if I touch it right now? <laughs> Would I die? Like, instantly? That coffee cup? Oh, okay. What about this bucket? Like, some of this shit just seems like it would not belong here. Like, at all. Maybe this flashlight is the last one. Yup. Knew it. Talk to Dr. Cooper. Alright, I will talk to you. Oh, he is Dr. Cooper. Okay. Impressive work. We need to pack those things and get them back to the lab to ensure their safety. Not to mention, this area is da very dangerous for us as well. Although, do you not wonder where are those objects coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in with the van. You saw that too, right? No one has allowed the- Oh! Your analog multimeter is picking up high frequency. Damn! Oh no, the lamppost. No, there's a big man right behind you. Fuck the lamppost. Look at the guy behind you. Oh, we're fucked. It's over. Where the fuck are we? Find a way out. And how do you suggest we do that? We discover something out of this world. It is a regular lamppost emitting a dim light. Anyone who tried to get close to it vanish in front of our eyes. My theory is that this vortex of photons create a dimensional bridge between our reality and something else, a dark place where time is non-existent. The lamppost becomes active when there is a surge of electricity around. After that, it starts emitting strong light, and if anyone touches it, the lamppost and the object or person disappear. And we've seen that someone already tried to escape, but it's... Oh. Ow! Why is that so loud? Jesus. Find a way out. Hello, anyone on the computer? Can I play some games on the computer? Guess not. All right, let's check the right. Oh my god, it's a maze! Bro, there's a fucking... There's so many things around here. There's another computer. Oh, we can read this. Today, observing this, it will look like a person, a dark figure, and in the blink of an eye, it will be banished, but appear once more. We call it the photon shadow, which was created by this lamppost. It is always around the corner. It makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe and it will trap you there forever without realizing that your flesh does no longer belong to you. Thanks, man. 
Oh, nah. Are you good? Dr. Hayden! Oh, nah. He, it's over for him. He's, he's gone insane. He's done for. Like... It's over for him. Sometimes a lamppost can make a choice. It can trap the person forever in time or return them back. No one knows what happened to those who returned. But no one but one thing is clear that those people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadow figure. It whispers your name, it psychopagates your flesh and feeds you with hope. When it's done, there's nothing left of you. Awesome! Just what I wanted. Can I put this in this computer? Oh What's up, bro? Uh, okay. Thanks for that. I don't know if that was necessary, but it happened. Am I supposed to turn on all the computers? Maybe I am. Although something is different over. <gasps> Lamp post. Okay. Our. I, I mean, I found it. Now what? Whose skull is this? Is that Dr. Cooper? Maybe that's that's my boy Cooper. Got absolutely fucking pieced up by the way. Bro, like what do you want? Like, I don't even know. Like, how does this shit even happen? Like, how do you even like figure this shit out? Yeah, this lamppost suddenly appeared in my backyard and now wants to kill me. Like what? This okay, we're at the lamppost. Just like that, we're, we're back. Oh! Uh... Okay! Alright, this one, I'm excited about. Trust the watchers. I haven't, you know, seen any previews of this game or anything. I just thought it would look cool. I think this is probably going to be the best game out of the three. So let's get into it right now. On a small clearing in the woods, we find three souls around a small fire struggling to stay warm. Which is assuming how they would talk. Three days of non-stop rain. These woods have been forsaken by the gods. Why must we watch over this cursed land? I am covered in mud and freezing. This post is a waste of time. Complaining is not going to make this fire any bigger, old man. We need more wood. You dare look at me. The old man is too tired from starting the fire in the first place. And every piece of wood is wet around here in case you haven't noticed. It's time for the rookie to earn his place. You hear that, rookie? It's your time to shine. Why am I like... Smiling like that. We need some dry wood, so grab that axe and go into the forest. There must be something out there that is not soaking wet. Find dry wood and return to camp. Press F1 to help. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, I guess. We're looking for some wood. Alright, already there is some shit. Oh, right, we don't have flashlights. We're in the medieval times. We don't got no flashlights. An axe. Okay, I guess we can't use the axe there. So this is a dead end. Finding dry wood is this way, I guess. Going this way. Oh, what the fuck was that? I don't like that. Thing over here. Now, you gotta check everywhere because if I don't, then, you know, these old tree streams dry enough. Okay, well I heard something rustling around, so I'm gonna grab this bitch and run. Oh! Can I grab that? Oh, I can only grab two at a time, okay. I guess we're gonna run back now. Got ourselves some good old dry wood to keep us warm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna come back and these motherfuckers are dead. Oh. Oh, okay. That's some good lumber, rookie. Thank you. But it's not enough to last for the night. Go and bring some more. Yeah. These motherfuckers are lazy! Oh, I can see my hand. Oh! See, that's how you know this is a good horror game. Even though it might be short, which I don't know yet. You really think I'm gonna get some more lumber I just after I just heard that fucking noise? Yeah, you got me fucked up, bro. Hey guys, uh no more lumber for tonight, just this. <laughs> Alright, I guess they don't give a shit that there was like a <laughs> in the fucking middle of the woods. They only care about staying warm. Amazing. These motherfuckers are lazy. So I don't really know what to say of it. Oh, oh! Now those motherfuckers are dead. Yup, it's over. Oh, oh, yup. It, yup. Oh. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> Who could have known, right? And all we have to do is follow this blood trail. I have an axe. So this might be fine for me. But at the same time, I might get absolutely domed in the head. Oh my god. Are they... Are they a part of the tree? What the... What the hell is that thing? Yo! Oh! Oh, there's more. I thought this was like an ending. What do you mean, get out? How am I supposed to get out? Do I cut this down? Oh, shit. We running. We zooming out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wrong way. We getting the fuck out of here. Can I cut it down? Okay. We running. We running. We running. Cut this bitch down. Oh yeah. We on that speed runner time. Okay, we don't go that way because it's loud as hell. That means they close. Come on, keep on going. Keep on going. Yup. We lucky we got this axe still in our hand. We running. We running. Get on the horse. Oh my god, I look traumatized! <laughs> but that was Trust the Watchers, which is the third and final game for this video. I enjoyed all the games, it's just, maybe I should have picked a longer one. But, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed, just like, sub, share, comment, anything would help. I might stream next week again, but, who knows. Thanks for watching.